New details in that deadly limousine crash that killed 20 people in upstate New York. A limo carrying 18 people, plus the driver, plowed through a stop sign and hit two pedestrians. This happened about 24 hours ago in Schoharie, about an hour outside of Albany. Uh, we have just received the 911 call of the crash. Listen to these frantic moments. Respond to the intersection of State Route 30 and 38. Of a multi vehicle motor vehicle accident. Unknown injuries at this time. Apple Bear reports possibly four or five vehicles involved, unknown injuries. We've been eating trigger and I want to go ahead fire monitor, second transmission, central bridge fire, and ambulance. You're requested to respond to a multi vehicle motor vehicle accident, stay route 30, stay route 30A, to be a Delta response. Advise, we got two cars involved in the next two episodes. And moments ago, we heard from investigators. Here's what they said about the crash. The investigation at the scene revealed that a 2001 Ford excursion limousine was traveling southwest on State Route 30 and failed to stop at the intersection with State Route 30A. The limousine traveled across the intersection into a parking lot and struck a 2015 Toyota Highlander that was unoccupied and parked. Two pedestrians standing nearby were also struck and killed. 20 fatalities is just horrific. I've been on the board for, for 12 years, and uh, this is one of the biggest losses of life, loss of lives that we've seen uh, in a long, long time. Colgan Air up at uh, Buffalo killed 40 people, or 50 people, but that, this is the most deadly transportation accident in this country since February of 2009. CNN correspondent Christina Aleshi joining me right now. So the NTSB on the scene there collecting evidence. Um, still unclear, you know, the sequence of events. What led up to this? Uh, but we know in all 20 people dead. That's right, and the investigators are going to be looking at vehicle factors, including mechanical issues as well as the the um, the driver issues and anything else that would have happened environmentally. But clearly, uh, authorities are saying this is the biggest transportation accident since 2009. There's going to be a lot of questions that are still unanswered in that press conference. We heard reporters asking how this could have happened, and authorities are really reluctant to give any details until they've had the time to really investigate. This is hard, a hard hit for a community that seems like a very close-knit community, very tragic. We know that the accident happened outside of a local business, the Apple Barrel County uh, store. And the, the store actually is raising money for the local responders, which is a voluntary unit. And it put out a statement saying, our hearts and prayers go out to victims' families, our customers who tried to assist, and our staff who tried to comfort. We're a small community, and you all will ever be a part of our, you will forever be a part of our family. Look, we're still reporting out exactly what went wrong here, and uh, our colleague Polo is on his way to Schoharie right now to report on the ground there. Mm -hmm. Frederica? All right, Christina Aleshi, thank you so much. Tragic situation. Uh, joining me right now on the phone, Bridie Finnegan. She actually heard the crash and saw the aftermath. And so, Bridie, uh, while uh, officials explained that it appeared as though this limousine uh, just plowed through an intersection and then crashed into a parked vehicle, there were two pedestrians uh, near that parked vehicle, resulting in now 20 deaths in all. Describe what you heard and then what you saw. Well, I heard a loud bang when I was in my dining room. I went out onto the front porch and I looked up at the Apple Barrel. I saw all these people coming out of the Apple Barrel restaurant, and suddenly I heard lots of screaming. And I could see this vehicle in the bushes, and I couldn't figure out how it got there. I walked up uh, closer to the scene, and it turned out that it looked, it looked like a bus. Uh, and I figured out it was some kind of a van limousine. And the first responders were having trouble getting into it. I, I heard them smashing the windows with uh, sledgehammers, and then the uh, fire truck came, and uh, uh, they had the jaws of life. They tried to open the doors 
uh, of the, the vehicle. It was very badly damaged. Um, I saw only one person being taken out uh, into an ambulance, uh, but that there may have been others. Um, and uh, the first responders were, were all over, back and forth, uh, assisting in the whole scene. So um, it was it was pretty pretty horrific. It's extremely upsetting for such a small community to have something like this happen. Uh, I am often up at the Apple Barrel. My husband and I go up there to eat dinner and buy uh, items. And uh, you know, I could have been one of the people walking across that parking lot. It's just uh, a horrible thing to think that this situation is 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 there and that this actually worst case situation actually happened.